Hello, my name is Yannicka from Yannicka Design. In this video, I will show you step by step how to do um, the rabbit uh, using my uh, fractured image technique. For this project, you will need fabric, uh, nine different kind only for the bunny. Uh, you will need your pattern. In your pattern you will find a fabric chart to glue your sample beside each letter. That way it will uh, make it a lot easier not to get confused. Uh, you will need glue. You can use any kind of glue, a glue stick, um, liquid glue, as long as it is washable. You will need stylo and rollers. You also need the freezer paper, that is really important, and um, a lightweight fusible interfacing. This, the one I use right here, it's a Pilon 820. What you need is one side is sticky, the other is not. You will also need a nice thread. I use uh, a Super B thread from Super Punch. Um, all the information about the products I use will be in the description of the video. In your pattern, the first thing that is really important, this is your map. This will uh, help you, guide you to how to piece the, diff the different pieces. After that, you have all the pieces. This project is quite easy. You have uh, 47 pieces. Um, I have done some that have uh, 120, like um, the raccoon. So I say it's, it's a pretty easy uh, project. Next step. We uh, prepare our fabric. Um, we just have to iron the interfacing on the back of the fabric. So um, you usually follow the instruction coming with the interfacing. This one is, like I said, is Perlon uh, um, 820. Yes, Perlon 820. Um, one side is really soft. One side is a bit bumpy. It means that that's the side that has glue. So you just put it on your fabric and you iron using the same uh, technique uh, indicated on um, the instruction of uh, the, the, the interfacing. So as you can see here, all my fabric is done. On my chart, I give you a size of fabric to use. Um, this is an approximation. Of, I, you can use um, scraps as long as you have enough. Uh, so this is just to give you an idea. So once everything is traced, you only have to uh, cut out each of the pieces. Uh, as you can see, I traced, I put the number, the letter, and the little X's. So to cut uh, the freezer paper, I use uh, my rotary cutter. Since I change the blade often, uh, it doesn't bother me to use uh, my rotary cutter on paper. Once all my, all my shapes are done, what I have to do is uh, 
iron them on the fabric. So here I have 9G. G is that fabric. So I just iron the piece on the fabric and as you can see it's thick. I just make sure that where I have stars I have at least one quarter of an inch of fabric before put it, putting the next piece. If for example I have two pieces and both are as a star I have to put at least half an inch between the pieces. But don't worry I give you plenty of fabric uh, to do this um, project. So here's 6E, E is this one, like this, and finally 19G, this one is G, is this one. So there you go. Now all my pieces are on my different fabrics. Time to cut. How to cut to cut your pieces? Usually I uh, I go from one, two, three, four, five, six. Even though I have to go on different fabric because for me it's easier to assemble and to make sure that I have everything. So this is piece one. As you can see, here I have a little star, here too, but I don't hear. So what does it mean? It means that where there is no stars, I cut right where the freezer paper is. When I have a star, I have to leave uh, at least one quarter of an inch. So using my little ruler like this, I find one quarter of an inch and I cut. And here I have another stars. So I do the same thing. I say stars but really it's supposed to be asterisks. Sorry for my very bad English. So this is piece one like this. Now I'm going to do piece two. Here on piece two I have three little asterisks. So it means one quarter of an inch all around. So as you can see, I have piece one and piece two. If I look at my map, I have piece one and piece two. So one is here like this and two is like this. Like this. As you can see, um, I have little tails here. They're not really useful. So if they're in the way, I usually cut them. Here they're not in the way, so I'm going to leave them. Um, I'm using uh, a little bit of glue. Come on. 
sorry. My glue's being stubborn. Um, okay. Plan two. Where's my stick? Where's my stick? Are you like me, always trying to find something? I swear to God, I spend more time searching for something than sewing. I'll be right back. Well, I found this. So let's try with this. Hopefully this one will work. Aha, yay. So I just put a bit of temporary glue. School glue is the best, like I said. This one I wanted to try. Quilter's Choice. Too expensive in my opinion. Okay. So now I just put the pieces together. Like this. And if I want it to uh, dry quickly, I just press it a bit and uh, it won't move. As you can see here, I have one, two, three, four put together, everything fit, it's perfect. So now, um, what I like to do, you don't have to, but really trust me when I say it's better, 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 sorry. Uh, what I do is use a bit of the enter, enter. And the web facing, uh, you know the palon. And I could cut some pieces like that, and like that. Then I press, so everything is a little bit more stable. A little example of what I was talking uh, prior. Um, here, as you can see, when I add this uh, this piece, this fabric here, I don't know if you can see. Oop. This fabric here, that's really in the way. So what I do is I come and cut a little piece like this so now everything fits nicely so I've cut and glued um, the body of the rabbit um, as it doesn't look like much right now but don't worry it's gonna be beautiful um, I decided to do the body in a step second step make the head and last make the, um, the, the ear of the bunny because uh, I just find it easier to uh, to manage that way so now it's time for the reveal it's my favorite part. And I lost again my silver. Oh, there it is. Okay. So until then, we're pretty much going blind because we have no idea how the, the fabric works together. So just slowly just peel. Um, I will peel everything here but not here where the head will come. I'm gonna wait until I glue the head to take those off. But those in the middle there's no problem because it's finished. And if you're careful, you 
can keep those pieces uh, and do another bunny. But there's there are a little bit, a little bit less sticky the second time. There you go. So now I took up all the papers. The next step is um, sewing. Come with me. So I use my zigzag stitch and the length of the um, of the stitch I put it at uh, uh, pretty close 0 0.4 0 0.5 because I want it to be really uh, dense a uh, dense uh, zigzag stitch. all done isn't it cute it's a cutie pie um, I decided not to put um, any eye or nose uh, I tried different thing but it didn't really work I might do, do a quilt uh, a black nose or something like that but for now uh, it's gonna stay that way what I will add though is um, a tool tail so that's a tail made of tool that you will have you will you can add uh, once the quilt is done uh, when I do 3d uh, 3d elements in my quilt I love to just uh, quilt it with nothing in the way and then I add a 3d um, 3d elements so I'll show you how to do the tail. To make the 3D bunny tail, I use 6 inch roll of tool. For this one I decided to use a kind of golden brown. So what you do, you uh, use a straight uh, stitch and you make it longer usually 5 or 5.5 5. and then you just sew a line in the middle uh, for about I would say 4 yards let's see As you can see, maybe not really. Ah, anyway, I uh, try to stay in the middle, even if you go uh, a bit on the side, it's not that problem. The first thing you do is make a knot at one end. so that nothing's move and another one just to be sure there you go 
then you go on the other side right here and you find a way to pull one of the thread oh god damn it sorry bad words okay there you go and you pull you pull you pull try not to break your thread use a, a pretty pretty strong thread for this because you really don't want to have your thread break in the middle so you bunch you bunch you bunch bunch as much as possible there you go okay so I have a bunch of tool right here and you make like this okay so now I have a bunch of tool what I need to do is find the middle That's a kind of a battle, but I will prevail. Okay. There you go. Like this. And you fold it and fold it like this. And you see? You have a little tail like this so what you can do is uh, and so the bottom like this so that everything stay in a bunch if things are not even and you want to make it more even you can just cut what's bothering you like this and then you just applique it um, using thread uh, on your uh, finished quilt of course I do not recommend um, doing 3D stuff on the baby quilt maybe it's uh, if it's on the wall it's perfect but you know don't add anything that could come off uh, on a baby quilt there you go and there you go you have a fluffy little bunny tail <laughs>